welcome to Simply Basic Recipes. I've got another tasty treat to show you today and it is white chocolate covered peanut butter Ritz crackers and they are so good. They have been a family recipe for years now. Ever since I was a little girl my mom used to make these at Christmas time especially for the whole family and she would make little goodie boxes for everyone with all different kinds of candy in it. So I'm excited to share this recipe with you today. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing you're going to need some Ritz crackers some peanut butter, I prefer Jif, and some white chocolate um, candy coating. You're going to want the white chocolate that gets hard whenever you put it in the fridge for just a few minutes. And you can use Wilton white candy wafers, candy coating wafers, excuse me, but I prefer almond bark and it comes from Walmart or any other regular grocery store that you go in I'm sure would have it. But it's in little blocks like this and it's called almond bark and it's really, really good and you can just break off the few little squares that you want and then just tie the rest of it up and use it for later. Okay, I've got my candy melting on the stove on low heat right now. So in the meantime, I'm going to peanut butter up a few of these Ritz crackers. Now I prefer to only have one Ritz cracker with the peanut butter on top of it as opposed to putting another cracker on top and making a little sandwich out of it because personally I like more of the peanut butter taste and if you put two crackers on there it just has a little too much cracker for me but a lot of people like two crackers so it's up to you how you want to do it but this is the way I think they taste the best. Okay now what I'm doing now is I have my chocolate melted and I'm just going to dump these in here peanut butter side up obviously and just coat them with my little candy stick. Barely coat them because you don't want the um, peanut butter to get loose in the chocolate and make it brown. You want it to stay white and pretty. But shake off the excess chocolate. You can see it dripping off here whenever I hit it against the side of the um, pot. And then sit it on your wax covered cookie sheet. And you're gonna do all of these the same way and then put them in the refrigerator for about 10 minutes or so and they will be done. So dip it in there real quick. Pull it out. Shake off the chocolate. Drop it on your cookie sheet. Alright, the cookies have had a chance to harden and this is what they look like and there is the center of the cookie. And they are so delicious. Alright, this recipe is so quick, simple, and easy to make, and also cheap to make, and it makes a ton of cookies. I just used one roll of the Ritz crackers and still had half a thing of chocolate left, and I got this many cookies out of just half the chocolate, so you can imagine how many you'll get if you use the full block. But I took these to work for the Christmas work Christmas party last year, and everybody loved it, and I have been having to make these ever since just for people at work. So that, these are very, very good. So I would recommend that you try these at home, and if you do, leave me a comment in the box below and let me know how you like them. And also, if you make them, send me a picture or make a video response I hope for you'll me. subscribe to my cooking channel, and I will see you next week on Simply Basic Recipes. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.